Good morning guys, welcome to today's vlog. So for the past three days, I've been finding these little holes. Can you see them? There's like one right here, one right here, there's a couple over there. They're tiny. Let me see. Right there. Let's see, can you guys see that? It's a hole. Oh. Let me just show you what it looks like when you move everything. <coughs> or when you move everything out of the way, it's a tunnel. They're like little tunnels. And it goes that way. Oh, there's a worm. <laughs> one over here. Look. They're holes. The little, the um, dirt on top is like where they tunneled out. What? Oh, birdies will eat that worm. So I wasn't sure what it was, so I put mouse traps because I thought, well, maybe it's mice coming in to eat the leftover, you know, the grain on the floor, on the, on the floor. You know. But again, then again, if I think about it, a mouse could totally fit through one of those little holes. I assume they can. So, it's not what it is. It's something else. Is it snakes? I don't know. They're all like, just let me out. Much, 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 much later now. It is 4.50. Jerry, what are you doing? Don't eat your lunch. Her lunch has been sitting there for at least two hours now. Um, so I am going to make a meatloaf tonight. And it's not going to be my normal meatloaf. It's going to be... A meatloaf I saw on a vlog and they put hold on let me give let me grab them let me grab them okay guys I found it was in the refrigerator so I'm gonna make this meatloaf and she uses salad cubes so I'm gonna try it out I'm not gonna follow exactly her recipe because um, I don't have, she puts crackers in her, so I don't have crackers. But if you've ever made meatloaf before, blah, 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 blah. if you made meatloaf before, then you know you can use crackers, breadcrumbs, cut up pieces of bread, oatmeal, um, I've saw it made so many different ways. I think my mom used to, ooh. I can remember my mama using like oatmeal if she didn't have breadcrumbs. Um, she would use old, not old bread, but you know, bread that was about to expire. She would just um, rip it up and put it in her meatloaf. Um, you know, I always use like the, um, what is this? What is this stuff? <laughs> it is the the stuffing mixes that you um, look at all that onion that got left on there. It's okay. I don't need it. I don't need like a whole bunch of onion. Just a little bit of onion. Um, I use the stuffing. What are these called? The might be cornbread. Um, Why well, you bring that chicken in there? If that chicken poops on my floor, you're in so much trouble. What is Boo gonna do? Watch out, that chicken will peck her eyes, Drillin. Your cat will lose an eye. Well, I did 
Because she's part rooster. She is? Yeah. What if she is rooster? Well, if she's a rooster, I think you would probably know by now. She would go louder than that. She would be crowing, but not only that, she would have tail feathers. Because she. How old is she? Uh, let's see. Oh, all of all of April, all of May. She's two months old. Why will she be like full She's got to be over two months old. How many weeks is she? When do they get full grown? Um, they start laying about four. They can lay anywhere from four months on up to a year. It could take longer. Certain breeds, it takes a little bit longer for them to start laying eggs. But like, she's a golden comet, so she could start laying up to F4. But you know, she looks way bigger than the other ones. But it's like, oh, these are making my eyes water. Look at her. She might've had a big mom and a big daddy. Got my onion. Something tells me I want to cut it up a little bit finer. Maybe I will, just a little. Ingredient was your meat. So I've actually have this this meat I defrosted in the refrigerator. And so I want to use it up first. You were supposed to lay down and take it out. What is she doing? Watch this. She was just staring at me. Well, she probably recognizes you. Okay, and now I think I'll probably add probably half of this. We got Uncle Brian and Papa coming over for dinner. two eggs but she might have had less meat than me so I'm gonna add three eggs eggs are what holds it together so it's basically your glue now normally I would add some green pepper to this I would add um, a little bit of milk and my breadcrumbs which I'm gonna add this and then this and she added tomato uh, ketchup to hers I don't know if I'm gonna do ketchup or tomato paste. Actually, I'm gonna do tomato paste because I actually have some tomato paste. So I actually have some tomato paste left over from dinner the other night. I'm going to use that. So I guess the only thing I'm doing differently is I'm gonna substitute my pepper for my cubes. Baby, 
Did you want to hold her? Yeah. I'm sure she doesn't pick you. Mm, don't pick her eyes. <laughs> okay, you want to touch her comb? Mm -hmm. This is her comb. Touch her comb. Ooh, it feels weird. Why don't you put your boots on a little bit so I can turn this Okay. I have no idea what happened. And she added about a quarter cup of this sweet cube. So we got that. We're gonna add. She added a whole sleeve of of crackers. I got breadcrumbs. So. What does she want you to do? Uh, she didn't want me to do that. I'm just going to add what's left in this. Let me get one more washing on my hands. All right, so I wash my hands yet again. Now we're going to mix a, mix a, mix a. Dinner was delicious. Everyone loved it. Uncle Brian said it's better than what he gets at a restaurant. He said he would have paid for it. And I was like, well, where's the money? <laughs> so it was really good. Um, and y'all, I got tomatoes that I grew. And we ate those. Um, I still have a little cucumber. That's the best tasting pickle I ever heard. Um, but see, some a few of my tomatoes... Well, one that I cut up, I just cut the top off, but it looks like that. And um, I think that's because, you know, it's rained and rained and rained and rained and rained and rained. So, but the tomatoes are delicious. I don't know. I don't know if it's because I grew or what, but they are delicious. And then we have watermelon, um, which now I have to clean up and figure out what to do. They're gonna work on the fence, which I'm so happy. Um, they just went down to Papa's house to go get some more posts that he had cut. And I am going to clean up here and then I'm going to go outside. I gotta go feed my goats. Um, I'm still feeding them. The uh, reason being is because, you know, they're stuck inside of a pen, I'm not able to get out and just eat whatever they want but I do put uh, what are you doing I do put 
alfalfa hay and they got alfalfa pellets. That is like their main thing they're eating right now while they're in there. And then we do give them like some tree branches and stuff like that because you know they like to eat that. Well, I don't know if you know they like to eat that, but that's what they like to eat. And then I give them their chicken, chicken feed, their goat feed, but they don't get a lot of it. I give them like maybe a cup of it. And as soon as they get in their pasture, they will end up not getting as much of that. Um, but in, see, in the winter, in the winter time, you feed your goats differently because they don't have a lot of stuff to eat. Although around here, they probably still would have a lot of stuff to eat. But um, in the winter time, you feed them more like hay and that kind of thing because there's not. But for the for right now, the pasture we're going to put them in is a fairly large area for two goats. So they can just eat whatever is in there and then I will also give them hay and then um, offer them as much alfalfa, alfalfa pellets as they want and then um, I also have their goat feed which is has like corn and all kinds of stuff. So I've been doing a lot of research on different foods and what you feed your goats <laughs> the cat's gone crazy so that's the plan right now so hopefully we can get them in there oh what i was gonna say earlier is that i do put them out on a leash and just uh, let them walk around and eat grass and all that kind of stuff which i think i'm gonna go put millie on the leash flynn he's still skittish so flynn i'm kind of like mm, when i put him on the leash I like usually hold the leash and hold him close by and don't let him get like on a leash and wander off. Millie, I'm still kind of, you know, scared because she did try almost get loose that one time. Oh, good watermelon. one got done before 2 a.m. I finished a ton of shirts I've actually I'm like way caught up now which is a big change um, two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven made 11 shirts today. I already sent off three this morning with my husband and then I finished. I had this one done right here but um, I didn't have time to package it before he left so anyway yeah got that done. Got the ribbon trim done. It's a rush order. I need to hot glue my ends together and then package all this stuff up. And yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog. Journey's still awake. And yeah.
thanks for watching guys make sure you give this video a thumbs up i'll see y'all tomorrow bye